Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here with the Big Tree Tech Panda Touch touchscreen accessory. Today, we are going to go ahead and unbox this thing and set it up on the Bamboo Lab P1S. First off, kudos to Big Tree Tech for this fancy packaging. If you were to come across this at a store, you could easily see what it is and learn all about it from the very nice and detailed packaging. I appreciate that a lot coming from a 3D printer accessory. Looking at the side, you'll see some of the cool features. 5 inch IPS touchscreen, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. Guys, let's get 5G please. Multiple device control and magnetic power supply. Here inside the box, you'll see some very nice packaging with your typical 3D printer accessory foam. We've got ourselves a Big Tree Tech magnet. I'll be putting that to good use. A thank you card from our friends at Big Tree Tech, the Panda Touch manual, and nestled inside a nice piece of foam, the Panda Touch itself. You might be surprised at how robust it feels. Right here to the left, we've got some accessories, and we're done with this box. <laughs> a duck! A piece of plastic that looks like garbage, but isn't. Unroll it and it's a small bag with some screws inside. An Allen key, a USB-C cable, and a mounting plate with 3M adhesive on the back. Let's go ahead and open the screen. Again, I noticed this is very robust. It feels solid. Everything is fully assembled. On the side, you'll see a USB port labeled USB drive. On the back, you'll see the USB-C power connector. This is where the magnetic power supply comes into play. Watch this very cool feature. The mounting plate for this screen is magnetic and removes, meaning the screen can be taken off the printer and then simply magnetically reconnected to its mount and its power supply. When you remove this panel, you will expose some additional settings, such as this power choice of off battery USB-C 5 volt. Here's a good look at the contacts on the screen and the contacts on the mounting charging plate. When snapped together, they make contact, the screen would be mounted and chargeable. Without further ado, let's get this mounted. I will be using a P1S. The first thing you'll be looking to do is mount the mount to the mount. Here is your screen mount and here is your screen mount mount. You will take two of the screws that came with your screen and the Allen key and we're going to mount the mount to the mount mount. To mount the mount mount to the mount, simply locate these two holes and these two holes and line them up. You will notice that the screws are beveled. That is because they're going to be mounting from the other side. We'll go ahead and attach the mount to the mount mount. And there you go. The mount is connected to the mount mount and you'll see it now stands up like this. And you can snap the screen to it like that. In case you were wondering how strong the magnetic mount is and how safe it is for your screen, let's do that again. Yeah. It's time to mount the mount. These little legs will slip behind. However, those legs aren't enough. This is where the tape comes into play. We will go ahead and carefully peel off the protective backing of the tape and do this in one shot. Slip the feet behind the screen and press the adhesive backing against your printer. When doing this, be sure to leave room for access to your micro SD memory card. Here we are looking from behind the Bamboo Lab P1S and we are going to go ahead and provide power to it. To do that, we are going to tap in to an existing USB port on the P1S printer. 
Inside the printer, beneath the mount, you will locate a sticker with the USB label on it. Peel that off. Then peel away the black sticker beneath it. You will see there is a USB port hiding there. Go ahead and connect the included USB cable into that port. It will only fit one way. Feed the USB-C side of your cable through that hole. You will pull this cable along the front of the printer and up into the USB connector on the mount for the Panda Touch. Right here, just like this, USB-C cables fit both ways. There is no wrong way to install it. With the mount fully installed and connected, it's time to install the Panda Touch. Behind the screen, you will switch the power from off to DC 5 volt. And then simply snap the screen onto the magnetic mount. With your screen plugged in and set to 5 volt, turn on the printer. The screen will boot up almost instantly and take you to your Wi-Fi configuration. Type in your password and press OK. If you are not sure that you typed it incorrectly, you can press the I symbol to show you what you've typed. I found this symbol to be very unresponsive. I noticed my Wi-Fi shows up twice. I believe one is 5G, one is 2.5G, but it doesn't identify them. You may have to try both. Once you see the check mark next to that Wi-Fi, you know you're logged in and ready to go. Press next. You may type your information in manually, or you may go ahead and touch scan. Here you can see my two P1 printers, the P1P and the P1S. I'm going to choose the P1S and click confirm. You will see everything but the access code has been filled in. We will scroll down to the little donut, go across, go to LAN, click OK, and there's your IP and access code. I will then go ahead and click confirm again and you will see it briefly flashed connected to your printer and then replaced that text with the word Panda Touch. Here you can see the current ambient temperatures of my hot end and build plate matching the temperature shown on the screen. Now that my P1S is installed, I'm going to go ahead and connect my P1P. To do that, press the network icon, press the plus sign, and press scan. You will see Already added is my P1S, and I may now choose my P1P and press confirm. You will see everything but the access code has been filled in. Type that in and press OK. Then press confirm. Successfully connected. Touch finished. And you will see you have two machines with the first one I connected being the master. And you're done. We have successfully installed the Panda Touch on the Bamboo Lab P1S. According to the manual, the Panda Touch is compatible with the X1, P1, and A1 series bamboo printers. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com, and installing the very cool Big Tree Tech Panda Touch was today's adventure. Hey.